Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Zilliqa, aka Zill. So let's just dive in and let's talk about this first and foremost. So in terms of the ecosystem, it has been growing extremely fast. Um, and it is one of the fastest growing ecosystems out there in terms of this entire market. Uh, we've been talking about Zilliqa for a while. And I do think that this is one that has yet to really kind of shock the entire crypto scene. Um, and it has been around for a very long time as, uh, as well. Um, I initially got into Zilliqa during 2020. And I did hold it until around it, like 2021, like mid 2021, when it hit about like 20 some cents. Um, and then recently we re-looked at Zilliqa um, and we were really kind of excited about the Metopolis event because that's what really kind of skyrocketed the price early on this year. And since then we've been sitting pretty flat and just recently the price has popped about 20 some percent. But today we're really going to be talking about why I believe that Zilliqa could very well shock the entire crypto world uh, very, very soon. So first off, let's actually check out the ecosystem. There's over 195 projects as of January 18th of this year. Now, yes, since then we have added a lot more projects, uh, but we definitely have to look into a new full-on report of this. We're, we're probably well over 200 plus projects at this point. Uh, they have a ton of decentralized exchanges, and I shouldn't even say a ton, but there's three here. Um, in terms of Web3, you can check out some of the Web3 projects that they are building out here. Um, they also do have um, some nice DeFi projects, as you guys do see as well. Um, and you could just filter this out through all of them. Um, but they have a ton of offerings here in terms of the retail sector and uh, even the non-retail sector as well. But this is great to see. I, I, I love watching ecosystems kind of blossom. A few of the, you know, my favorite projects on here are like the Demons Verse. Uh, they, they're doing some pretty cool stuff. But there's also a few other ones I've been looking at. Uh, that look very interesting. Uh, most of it is centered around gaming. We've been focused on the gaming ones. Uh, they do have a ton of partnerships with some of the high tier esports teams as well, which is always exciting. Um, but I really do think that not only the ecosystem wise, uh, but also just like, you know, tokenomics as well. Uh, a lot, like a large percentage of the tokenomics or tokens out there, I should say, are locked up, uh, which we will get into that here in a second. But they did release a full on insight on all of the stats that you can look at in terms of like TPS, addresses, all that kind of stuff. They are at 42.5 million transactions, sitting at about 4.4 million addresses out there, uh, with about 2. Point, almost 4K nodes. Uh, which is great to see. And you do see all the transactions. Everything is very transparent here. Um, over here, we also do see the ecosystem, which you could kind of scroll through and really kind of see all the major uh, names here. It's very exciting. A lot of it is centered around um, NFTs, gaming, stuff like that. But then they also do have other networks like the XCAD uh, ne network, which is um, also very interesting. Uh, a lot of people think that this could very well uh, be like the Web3 YouTube or, you know, one of them, because I, I do think that there's going to be a lot of decentralized platforms platform similar to YouTube in the in the Web3 scene, uh, which is also very exciting. And um, in terms of the charts, you could actually see all of the major charts here, um, all of the, you know, transactions happening in specific areas. And uh, it is very, very exciting. And in terms of tokens, you could check out all the major tokens on Zilliqa as well. There's over 4,500 tokens on Zilliqa. This is absolutely insane. Um, and the most of the transactions are getting, you know, sent through the governance Zill token. And then you do see like the Lunar token, which yes, this is a uh, uh, lunar website to check out like the statistics behind a lot of tokens on the social uh, platforms. And then there's of course the XCAD network here and a few other ones um, as well. And you can also check out staking on here in terms of uh, staking rewards, the total staked, uh, the average APY, which is about 12.14%. And then um, the total staked is about 5 point almost 7 billion zil, which is absolutely insane. Um, compared to, you know, the total supply, which this is, I think about like 30 some percent. I think that they actually have that, um, on the website. If we come down here to the ecosystem stats. So yeah, 33.95% is fully staked and, uh, they do have an APR of about 13.32% here, but I think that that is a little bit inaccurate. It's actually about 12.14%. And I do think that the total staked amount might be actually over 33%, but I might be wrong on that, but it is still a very large amount of the supply uh, locked up, which is also very exciting. And talking about things happening on Zillica as well, uh, we are seeing more listings happening, and I do think that we will see a lot more. Um, but I think so far we've been listed on every single major exchange, and I might 
let's actually go check it out real quick. I just want to check out uh, where this is fully listed on because I, we might actually get more major listings. Um, so yeah, this thing's not even... So yeah, we're not on Coinbase. So we could have um, a lot more major listings happen uh, later on in this year or maybe even in 2023 which could also provide a lot more upside potential on this thing. So that's very exciting. And yeah, this is still on some major exchanges like Binance, Binance US, Huobi, Gate.io, Qcoin, Bitthumb, um, and a few other ones. But yeah, I mean, this looks pretty pretty good in terms of a lot more marketability around listings. It is sitting at number 76, still sitting under a $500 million market cap, fully diluted about $712 million. And we do see like this circulating supply and the total supply. And uh, when you actually look at the lock supply compared to that, it is a, or I should say the stake supply compared to that, it's actually a very substantial amount. Um, but yeah, very exciting to see it being listed on AscendX. And if you guys don't know about AscendX, they have about 200,000 uh, followers over here on uh, Twitter. If you want to check them out in terms of the exchange listings, I don't know if they have. Let me check if there is. So I just want to see. So yeah, there is number 48 um, in terms of the exchange list or the exchange list here. You can see how much volume is being pushed over it, which is about $83.3 million worth. Uh, and you can see all of the background story behind it. Um, if it is sitting at number uh, 48, check it down here real quick. So, I be or no, number 42 actually. Uh, so they have about almost 300,000 uh, weekly visits, which is a pretty substantial amount. So that's actually a great exchange listing. And I do, I do think that that could also be what's igniting uh, the price action recently. Um, and then over here, we do see the weekly recaps. They are continuously growing. They're continuously adding more projects. That's why I say, like, I think that we are actually over uh, the uh, 200 plus projects that they were mentioning um, over here in terms of the dApps area. Um, I think that there's probably a lot more. And you can see all of the tickers here as well, uh, which is also pretty cool. Um, and we actually have the full breakdown here. If you guys do want to read more about this, I do love all the games and things like that that are launching on Zillica. It looks more like a... It, I really do think that Zillica is more focused on the retail sector, which I think is exciting. They're more so focused on the meta, like the metaverse and NFTs and stuff like that, which is uh, something that I think is cool from their perspective. Because again, like the retail sector could also ignite a ton of growth. So definitely go check out this weekly recap if you guys haven't already, if you do hold Zill, uh, because there's some great insights in there on what has been happening around Zillica. And uh, also, like I said, the Demonverse. Uh, so we do see testing the Demonverse with the Metopolis, Zillica, testing environment, central land, PSD images blurred for proper reveal. Stay tuned. Um, I do think that everyone should uh, definitely stay tuned to this as you guys do see like the graphics in the background look very high quality. The Metopolis has been the metaverse that I've been watching for to launch because I think that it's really going to take this entire market by storm. A lot of people are focused on the metaverse right now. Um, and a lot of people were really kind of clowning on Facebook because their metaverse images that they were releasing were completely trashed for how much money they were pouring into it. And uh, here we have like the Metopolis. And uh, again, like this doesn't have a massive, you know, we'll, we'll say it doesn't have a massive budget similar to Facebook. Um, but you can see some of the graphics behind this. We, we've talked about the Metopolis many times in the past. I know that some of this looks like um, it's almost like very similar to like the Sims, except a little bit higher quality. But this compared to what we have been noticing around the metaverse, like this is very high quality. And if you wanted to go check out um, their entire website, you can check out their website. I do think that they have a few sneak peeks on what's going to be happening around this. Uh, so they do have like a full on roadmap, all that kind of stuff. Like this is what it kind of looks like. Again, like this is pretty high quality um, in terms of graphics wise. Um, and you can see everything about it. You know, it's the next internet, all that kind of stuff. Again, like it's more so marketability. Um, and then you can see like, what can you do in the uh, Metopolis? And here you guys have all of the major things. Uh, you're gonna be able to see like a lot of, you know, meta, meta estate, uh, e-commerce, all that kind of stuff that could generate, you know, passive income, stuff like that. Uh, there's these domes, which is very cool. And there's just so much going on behind the scenes within this. There's a ton of major partnerships that they do have, as you guys do see down there. And uh, I really do think that this is going to be exciting. And we do see 
um, a few of the major updates. So March 2023 is where we do see V2.0 VR experiences as well. In October, uh, we will see multi-chain wallet app. Uh, so they are continuously building out and it is very exciting. Uh, they have released a ton of uh, graphic images on what you can expect around this. Like I think that a lot of this stuff is uh, very cool. The team behind this is great. And uh, I do think that everyone should be eyeing this project uh, going forward. Because again, like I think that the... The graphics behind it, everything behind it, the hype around it, I think that it definitely does, you know, stand the test of time in terms of a metaverse project. A lot of the metaverse projects that we have seen in this market are very lackluster in terms of graphic wise, but also in terms of like product offerings. And they have been really kind of igniting the uh, marketing behind it as well. Here are some snippets from the Metopolis team at the Gidex uh, Global. We do see the action leaders at Metopolis presented the world's first uh, metaverse as a service, the mass platform, and discuss scalability and tribability and digital identities, among many other things. Uh, for those who couldn't attend, they do have a video on this as well. Uh, but this is uh, some of the images. They even, you know, had some of the images of her, you know, talking. Um, they have, you know, a little bit more of the images of the event itself, uh, but it was a pretty large, it, it was a pretty large event and uh, the government of Abu Dhabi was there uh, as well as a few other, you know, major names, uh, which is also very exciting. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that this is going to be great. And there's been a whole bunch of other major um, events that they've been holding uh, to talk about NFTs and all that kind of stuff which again, I think is great. You guys know me, if you have been a follower of the channel, you know that these events lead to a ton of marketability, a ton of, you know, getting the name out there, having people realize, you know, what Zillica is doing, all that kind of stuff. So this is great for community growth. Community growth is key during the bear market. And then over here in terms of the chart. So we have been watching the chart closely. Um, I do believe that we might have already have bottomed out, but again, anything is possible to break down through this level. Uh, this is a crucial area for us to hold because I mean, like, Technically speaking, the next major area of support would be at about two and a half cents. Um, after that, if we do lose that, I would be concerned. Uh, we'd have to watch it closely to average in. Um, but recently we came back down. We touched roughly almost two, eight, almost three cents exact almost. Um, and here we are trading at about almost three and a half cents. We just hit major resistance so that you guys can know. Um, I would wait to see if we do see a pullback here. Um, this is currently what it pumped up about 25%. It's sitting at about 20% up uh, to some of these major EMAs on the, you know, on the uh, chart here at a, on the three day span. You know, the, the highest point here would be about six cents, which would be almost a two X from our current level, uh, which is pretty exciting. But, you know, this thing did hit about 26 cents back in 2021 uh, going into the next major cycle. I mean, we could go as high if we outreach to the highest one about a dollar 11, uh, which is substantial. Um, but we could go higher. It, it, it all depends on the hype behind it. We have been looking at some of these levels. This would be about a 40 X. Um, I have been just eyeing about like, you know, 40 cents though. Um, I think that this is a high probability area for it to be hit, getting hit. This is about almost a 14 X opportunity. Uh, but I think, like I said, it could go higher. It could go to a dollar plus. We'd have to watch it closely to see if they are going to continuously push updates. If the team is going to continuously move, um, on a lot of their product offerings, if the Metopolis is going to do very well, we definitely have to watch it closely. I think that it could be a high successful project, uh, but we have to just keep a close eye on it. But I do think that this thing could very well well shock the entire crypto world uh very soon so with all that in mind i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below uh, so it's up to you all have a beautiful day beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys